Hey everyone, welcome back to the Reptile Room. Today, we're going to jump right back outside and we're going to keep working on that massive enclosure that I'm working on. So let's go jump there. Alright, so today we're going to finish up trying to get this gigantic lizard enclosure all enclosed. So I've been cutting on all of the wire mesh that I got, the hardware cloth, which is half inch square. And we'll go look at that in here in just a second. And then I'm going to go ahead and get it on. I got the door to make. I have to enclose the whole outside and the whole roof. And that's what's going to happen in this video. So let me go ahead and bring you a little closer so I can show you some stuff that I did off camera and we'll get right into it. You can see I've been cutting on this roll of wire mesh and I have to trim all of these off after every cut or else, you know, I have to really watch it because they're kind of sharp. So I've been taking my cutters and just cutting them flush right up to this side here. I can't do it one-handed with the camera or I'd show you, but that's been taking a little while. And the only tools I've been using for this are my cutters and my tape measure. I also have some clamps just to hold the roll from going anywhere. This is the stack. Every piece, every single piece for every panel here, because these are all, each panel is four foot wide. And then we've got, I'm doing 58 inches from top to bottom so that there's an overlap. Now you can see here, I went ahead and I've covered this so I don't have my little gap anymore, my one inch gap. So that's awesome. I'm super pleased with how that turned out. I think it's really helped finish out the look. Then we have the door that goes in this segment here. I have to get some hinges. I've got to get three or four latches uh, to do it the way I want to do it. I, I like to have at least two on the outside if not three, top, middle, bottom. Don't want that guy pushing out. He's really strong, and I would recommend the same thing for you. You want to have extra security with your stuff. So I think we're all ready to start putting this on, which is fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing that so that I can hop up on the roof by the end of today and potentially even get this door built before I have to go inside and start editing stuff. So I'm going to show you guys all of that, I'm gonna go grab my staples and probably a ladder, cause you know, vertically challenged here. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and get that stuff and we're gonna start knocking it out. Awesome. <laughs> All right, that's the first panel. Took a little bit of extra finagling, but uh, it's on there. That's why I started with this back corner, uh, so I could kind of figure out what's gonna happen, see how it's gonna tighten up. Um, the thing I'm trying to pay attention to is that all of these are squares. And hopefully you built the outside, you know, perfectly square. Unfortunately, I did have a little bit of sag on this corner that settled in with all that rain that we had recently. So 
you know, it is what it is. It's an outdoor enclosure and it is not going anywhere, that's for sure. I am gonna do a little bit of decorative edging around this to hide the edges. So that'll hide, hide the crimes, as they like to call it, in a maker space. Um, it's really tight. Uh, this is um, it's as tight as I can get it. It's pretty strong stuff. So I am fingers crossed this is gonna be the best stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and just snap my fingers and the rest of this is gonna go up and we'll be right back. And just like that, we've got all the fencing all done. I even have the door built. I have the mesh on it. And now I just have to go ahead and screw it all in. But I got some weather moving in, so I'm gonna be knocking this out pretty quick. And I'll go ahead and walk you around this and show you the hinges and my plan for this door. And we'll go ahead and take a look at everything. I'm, again guys, I'm just blown away that this is actually built and it's actually in my backyard. So I can't wait to get Ronnie out here. I know it's all complete, but there's still, there's still a ton of work left to do on this. I gotta build hide box, I gotta build a water feature, I gotta put all the plants in here. You know, we've got landscaping to do. This is not your normal enclosure build. This is, you know, a, a zoological feature almost. And I'm gonna call it right here. Biggest private enclosure for an iguana in Ohio. Maybe even the Midwest? Prove me wrong. Let's, let's do that, prove me wrong. Show me your enclosure that's bigger. This is 16 feet long, 12 feet wide, seven feet tall, and for one rhino iguana. Big spoiled lizard. So, all right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of uh, work here before this weather moves in. I think I probably have, I think I have about two hours. So not a ton of time. I got a little finessing to do on the door. It's gonna hinge out. And I mean, I've gotta do some trim work on this. So I, I hope you guys are really, I hope this got, inspires you guys to do something crazy in your backyard as long as you own the property or have permission from, you know, property owners and whatnot. But go big. Go big or go home, right? Why have these animals if we're just going to keep them in little enclosures inside? Everything should be bigger and better every time. We should all be doing more. Camp Kennan. You know, he's really set it off and really inspired me to do this. Brian Barcheck really inspired me to do a lot of this stuff. You know, they're in very extremely different locations in the United States. And you can do, you can do what, whatever you would like on your own property and whatnot. So I'm just going to show you guys that. So let's go ahead and get this door all fixed. How, what do you say? All right, let's do it. Before I jump into that, I just wanted to show you what I got. I have three hinges. I might only need two, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and th throw three on there just so that it's even better. I have three bolt latches and one lockable latch. So one for the uh, this lockable latch is gonna be the middle of the outside. Two of these are gonna be for the top and bottom, and this one is gonna be for inside. When I'm in there working on it and Ronnie's in there, I want a way to be able to latch the door.
so I got a little bit of sanding to do on this. Okay, so I have a bone to pick with ever built here. These screws that they send with the little barrel latches are absolute trash. These are supposed to be a number two Phillips head, and this is a number two screw head drill here, and it doesn't stay on. I have been fighting these. I mean, there you go. This is also a magnetic tip. Why are these metal screws not sticking? Frustration! I'm about to go in and see if I can find just drywall screws at this point because I know they fit. So that would be my advice. If you find Everbuilt, just uh, just don't just swap out all their screws or don't buy them. So uh, I mean, they're like four dollars. They're the perfect price, but their their screws are crap. Rant over. can't even get this stupid screw to go in straight. I don't even understand how they made them so terrible. Either it's operator error or I've been able to build this entire frame without an issue until I've gotten to these stupid Phillips screws. Sorry, I said rant over. Rant really, really over. <laughs> the rain's coming. I need to go ahead and mow. <laughs> And there it is, guys. I've got the door on. Everything is all wire mesh. I'm no longer catching animals in here, which was not what I wanted to do. So I'll, I'll let you in on a little secret. While I was uh, getting this all done over the course of two or three days, I caught out three birds, two butterflies, and a dragonfly. So I'm super, super pleased that it is all closed up. So on the walk around, uh, you're looking at how it's all done. I've got the trim. I even cut a little wavy section for, you know, just some artistic flair up on the roof so that that's where the plants are going to fall down. So now that it's all done, well, I guess it's not really done, you know, because now I got to landscape it. Now I got to move all the plants. I got to build all the shelves. I've got 
plenty more to do. So, man, guys, I hope you really enjoy this series. This is the biggest thing I've done uh, with reptiles ever. So I, I hope you enjoy it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Don't forget to check out the Patreon. Every patron enters for a chance to win the pendant giveaway. So all you have to do is just become a patron. And I'm actually considering making it a monthly giveaway thing. Uh, so yeah, keep, keep that in mind. All right, guys, well, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out the rest of the series. Check out all my old videos. This is the recently added. This one is recommended for you. And then don't forget to click up here and subscribe or over here, whichever side it ends up being on. <laughs> all right, guys, we'll see you guys next week. Oh my God, screws are garbage. Who knew that you could make a Phillips screw that has been made for, what, a hundred years? Absolute trash. Absolute trash.